Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Hims, Experian, and Arc Whitening Systems. I'm Gus. I'm Drew. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Gus. Already, you're immediately <laughs> off the rail. <laughs> Thrown someone with their own name. Uh, that was so genuine too. <laughs> oh no! That's like the simplest way to fuck up. someone up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I'm Drew. <laughs> That's yeah, actually you're Drew. Drew. And I'm Gavin. And I'm Barbara. And I'm Gus. Um, welcome. It's your first time on the podcast, Drew. Yeah. Here I am. Look at me go. And Gavin's already trying to mess it up for yep. you. Out what? the gate. Why is everyone saying I'm late? What are they on about? I, if you anything, I was late. Yeah. Well, do they know? Were they watching? Were they spying? Uh, you were both late, so it's fine. Uh, what? No, uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, no, no, Gavin, Gavin's butt, seat. Gavin's butt was in the seat at four fifty nine. Yeah. At least five oh one. <laughs> Fair. That, that clock's a minute fast, so you were good. Yeah, yeah. I are already a where's Barb joke <laughs> already. I I'm wearing all camo, and I knew that was going to be like the first comment on this podcast. You're but your shins, head. Yeah. your shins and arms are there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Are, are you healing up? You had some uh, bad injuries the other week. Didn't you have some? I thought that was a pun. No, no, no. Like le I'm legitimately curious. Uh, yeah, I'm a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I had some some knee injury. Mm -hmm. um, although now I'm dealing with an injury on my face because I burnt my face with a curling iron because I'm 30 and I <laughs> learned how to use one of those. I always don't, thought they were really dangerous. They scare me. They're don't very curl drunk. Dangerous. Yeah, I know. Or just don't curl. <laughs> first thing in the morning, gotta yeah. chug some vodka and curl your hair. Yeah, it's a... Uh, well, the, the thing is like 400 degrees. Yeah. Right I, next to like all ooh. the good parts of your face. All your goops. Yeah. Could yeah. you cook anything on it? Probably your eyeball. You could cook the <laughs> smallest egg. Wrapped it like, a, wrapped can, it like uh, in cookie dough and make like cookies on it. Pop popcorn on one. I saw the... with the straightener, I saw that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially straighteners too, because they're flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. well, so this wasn't a straightener, it was a curler. Curling iron, yeah. Okay. Which are the round kind of... How? I'm just gonna keep going like this. Cylindrical. <laughs> so, is your hair normally straight? My hair is neither. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's neither straight nor curly. It does wavy? not know what it wants to do. Club wavy. It, it's, it waves and then it goes straight at the ends. So when it touched your face both. skin, did it go No, I went ah! It did literally you, just, ooh. just kissed my skin. Did you smell it? Did it smell? No. <laughs> no. Did it make you hungry? He's like, no, mm, no, mm, what meat. are <laughs> me? Hey, go over some bacon right now. Oh, me, <laughs> <laughs> me. smell like my own flesh. Um, you know what does stink though, and I don't know if you've ever experienced this, Drew burning hair. Uh, oh, yeah. What do you think smells worse, hair from your head burning or pubic? It probably smells the same, mm. wouldn't it? I don't know. I think we should have. Which, the which, same person, a blind two smell types, test, yeah. and a little whiff, smell like this. incense. Just get a little bit of smoke going. Or not. Oh. <laughs> uh, how can I tell this story? I know someone <laughs> who... Were they okay. teabagging a candle? This person had a sister. <laughs> and when they were in high school, my friend uh, was walking by. You know, they had like a, a shared bathroom. My friend was walking by the bathroom and looked in. And this person's sister was bent over and she was blow drying her hair. She got out of the shower. They're getting ready for school in the morning. Except the blow dryer was malfunctioning. And their sister didn't realize it, and the blow dryer was sh literally shooting flames out of the end. Whoa! <laughs> and they said that the bathroom stank like burning hair. Yeah. And uh, she just had no idea because her hair was all flipped over, oh. and she was just blow drying just torching it. it. So my friend had to like run in and just like yank the plug a towel out of her, the yeah. wall. I was like, "You are literally blow torching your hair." How do you replicate that? That sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds like a good weapon. Oh, we have could, those blow uh, torches. You can you can throw a bunch of flour in the back end of a blow dryer. I see. So you shouldn't. Yeah. That might be a good slimmer. Do it, do it in like an empty warehouse somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> With a really long extension cord. Coffee Lots creamer. Coffee creamer. Yeah, any like tiny particulates, mm -hmm. they just go Sugar. up. Sugar. Yep. Yeah, I burnt some of my hair um, in a, you know, like some restaurants have the candles on the table, and like some fancy restaurants have real fire, open flame candles. Yeah. Um, I was talking with Jessica Negri and Ryan, her boyfriend. We were just at dinner together, and I leaned over to show them something, and just like a little <laughs> piece of my hair just caught the candle and it went Voom! like all in one. Yeah. And I'm then like they started screaming, and I went. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> I'm like a 60 40 split on catching the napkin on fire every time. Oh, yeah. It's just like if it's out, I'm just like, I either blow it out now or I catch the napkin on fire probably in like 10 minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've done a napkin before by accident, and it was light enough where the flame just took it. It just went <laughs> off. I was like, oh, like a paper napkin. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those lanterns. <laughs> yeah, like, like really wafer thin paper. Both of you turn into cats as soon as something catches on fire. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How I I'm scared of fire, so I don't know how to no, react. Why? Really. I mean, like I had like growing up, I actually had a fear of fire. Like if I wouldn't want any open candles or. <laughs> Doesn't flames every or... human by default have a fear of fire? <laughs> well, it's like the no, same no, I mean, way, like, I have a fear of sharks. I'm... Or like a fear of drowning. Like every, of course, everyone <laughs> has a fear of drowning, but it's not like something that. You think about every day, all day. Like I had nightmares every night about dying in a burning house. Oh, really? Jesus! Like that oh. kind of like a thing. phobia. Yes. Like tr yeah, lots of stress about it. Yeah, it's Big now night. since past. Do you think you were burned at the stake in a previous life? <gasps> were you Joan of Arc? I was. Were you Joan of Arc. <laughs> <laughs> this is my reveal time. Yeah, you you speak French, right? We should pas français. Drew, your reaction to Chad's desk being gone uh, was amazing. Uh, because the non-reaction? You, you somehow walked past the entire thing and yeah. didn't notice that there was nothing there. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if that was edited down. No, no. Was that in real time? No, like I walked in and I was like, man, seems a lot more spacious <laughs> in here. I was like on my phone like thinking about something else and then it was like, oh shit, they took his desk. <laughs> Your reaction coming out of that office, you're just like, I'm they fine. took Chad's desk. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, but the math, the math was a little slow, I will say, like, in the moment. I was like, oh, well. It's not here anymore. It's got like you got your costume all balled up. Just like walking. I, I think I think you, Drew and Andrew, were my favorite part of that heist video. It's the house started early. House business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> house business. <laughs> it's great. I, just I like... showed it all to Meg, and house business was like the one thing she liked. <laughs> <Yeah. at. laughs> Good. It was perfect. Yeah. This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Hymns. Summertime's here, and while you may be breaking out that baseball cap for a day at the beach or the ballpark, if you're wearing it to hide thinning hair, you may not have to anymore. I get a lot of compliments on how thick my hair is, and I'm pretty lucky, so it's good to know that there's something out there to help guys who are afraid of losing their hair. Uh, did you know that 66% of men start losing their hair by age 35? That's two out of every three men in the world. And the thing is, when you start to notice hair loss, it's too late. It's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair that you've lost. Hims is helping guys out with licensed physicians and FDA-approved products to help treat hair loss. Hims was created by someone who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. No more awkward in-person doctor's visits or long pharmacy lines. Hims is completely confidential and discreet. You answer a few quick questions and the doctor will review. And if they determine it's right for you, can they can prescribe you medication to treat hair loss that is shipped directly to your door. Get the hair loss treatment everyone's talking about. So order now. Our viewers and listeners can get started with the Hims Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today, right now while supplies last and subject to doctor approval. You can see the website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or pharmacy. Go to 4 slash rooster5. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash rooster5. 4 com slash rooster5. Thank you, Hims, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. So I guess maybe that's a good segue. Maybe do you want to explain to people who may not be familiar with what you do, what you do here? I wear a trench coat. What you drew? And carry here? a cactus around. That <laughs> is good. No, uh, I'm a writer director for live action and uh, our little bungalow with the shorts. So, uh, RT Core. RT Core. And then also uh, basically just a help, a helping boy. I'm a helpful boy. You're a very helpful boy. Uh, I try to, anytime somebody's trying to new short out, I try to like be there. I was an AD for a long time before an assistant director. So, uh, then you like, threw that A out. I threw the A out and just. Took the yeah, D. You, you did. Uh, uh, you you deed weird place, didn't you? You did weird I place. I did yeah. D the weird place. <laughs> he put his D in the weird place. Uh, Ninety percent of you just getting annoyed with us that we're wasting hours of footage. So not many minutes of out. nighttime that passed of my life that I'll never get back. I'm just thinking, like, does this work? Like, no, Gavin, that's not a thing. How about this? No, Gavin, that's not a thing. How about this? No, Gavin, that's not <laughs> now, a thing. Now, to be fair to me, the longest time we spent not figuring something out was because I figured it out almost immediately. You didn't notice. Oh, it's true. And you didn't tell us that the door was unlocked. That's true. Uh, so like the I first not, bit oh, of us trying to get in the house. Bad DM. Very, trying to get in. Yeah, because yeah. not everything was actually like a mechanical unlock. That's it was probably like, got to be one of the most complicated shoots we've done. Was, like, especially for you having to direct it and like know all the... It's essentially building a puzzle room. Yeah, it's like an escape or, room. Or escape room, rather. Escape house. Yeah, It was one of the few things impossible. I've worked on. This is like a four four day shoot. Yeah. For, for me anyway, where I left it, I flew home, and I was like, I don't know what we made. I don't know if that was good. <laughs> it felt fun. I was like, how is that going to be? And then you just, it somehow cut together tremendously. 
Thank it you. worked out really well. It was so well, fun to watch. That. But I really doubted it. <laughs> <That's Yeah. why laughs> like straight after we filmed it. <laughs> what did we do? I don't know. I ate cake barefoot in the parking lot. Yeah, I, maybe it was the fact that it was all at, you know, like one to five in the morning. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I was very tired. It makes me think of like um, when Mad Max Fury Road came out, or before Mad Max Fury Road came out. Oh, and was Tom it? Hardy. Yeah, was Tom Hardy was like, he was like, yeah, I have no idea what we filmed. It was a train wreck. It was terrible. <laughs> then it comes out. And he's like, one of the he was like, I was wrong. Yeah, I, it's like, I, oops. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it. it. I didn't get it. <laughs> and now that it's done and I'm looking yeah. at it, it's like, it's amazing. Yeah. I didn't doubt it, like, into that extent where I was just like, this sucks. You know, I was, I was just, I went home and I was like, I wonder if that was any good. <laughs> you were also in the dark for all of it. Like, yeah. I would just come into the room and be like, hey, y'all are going to be doing, just come here a minute. And then, like, <laughs> would then subject you to things and then be like, all right, leave. And I got to set up the next thing. Okay, come here a minute. And then again, again, yeah. repeat, rinse and repeat. You are definitely, Drew, I think, are one of the most capable people at this company. Oh, thanks. And I, no offense to anybody else working here, but, like, you give you an idea or just, like, a task, and it's, like, completely done head to toe. I and like, w done well, too. I like to dig a hole. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> yeah. dig this hole. right -o. Just Okay. <laughs> here I go. You got it, Bob. Do you want a shovel? Nah. I'm, oh, nah, I'm good. I'll just use my little paws, and then all of a sudden I'm eight feet under. Just underground. light it on like, fire, and me and Gavin can yeah. come in. <laughs> <laughs> Cats with string. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I see someone here. Who is this? Um, Colin C. Burns in chat saying they still haven't seen The Weird Place. You should watch <gasps> it. It's on the website. It. It's on first. Yeah. yeah. You're, if you're watching the live stream, you're obviously a first member. Yeah. Go watch it. It's like upper left corner. If you binge the Over entire there. season, it's 45 whole minutes of your life. Yeah. yeah. And, and the title it. Does, it doesn't lie. It's pretty weird. I mean, it's not, it's not like David Lynch weird, but it's like some of the weirdest shit we've made. Yeah, it's like... You know, it's weird in the sense of like, oh, it's supposed to be right side up and it's upside down. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of weird, did you, did I, any of you see that weird, like, Twitter post about the thing you could make the recipe, the build it yourself recipe thing? That what was like, what was that? Two and a half. You did see it. Yeah. What was that? Wait. Well, Nina, what? It's like this. I almost don't want to set it up. I don't want to give it any context, but it's like when it, you know, you, you ever watch like Twitter videos and there's like recipes like a, at this, and it's just like all, all the ingredients, and you make stuff. It's like a tasty video. Top down, right. sort of like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, cooking. it starts out with some spices, and by the end of it, it's like a deep fried chicken oh, taco yes. pizza. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's like a yeah. lasagna mm. chicken Tor tortilla deep lasagna. Deep fried pizza pie. It just keeps going. Like, I kept thinking, like, okay, this is it. They're done. And it's like, <laughs> no, another, th it was and a, now deep fry it. It like, was a piss take, right? Like, that was a parody. I don't know. I, that wasn't real, surely. I was, I was on board until the fryer came out. I was like, man, it's just a chicken quesadilla. So, like, I was I was on it for, like, a whole minute. A, like, five-inch chicken quesadilla. I'm about that But, life. like, I'm about, I'm about a thick like, 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 Chicago such, style. Yeah, a it Chicago was, style It's like a deep, a deep dish quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. such a range of emotions watching, because at the beginning I was like, yeah. Chicken. I'm barbecue. with you. And then it, and then it moves chicken. on. You just like get confused, and by the end, you're like, "Huh? Nope. What's happening? Also, <laughs> how do, how do they have point? Yeah. I'm how do they it. have a dish that's exactly the same size as their tortilla that they put in? Oh. Yeah, like that in there is all what chicken and cheese, right? Over it. Yeah. That must be like nine thousand calories in just that triangle. And I, then pizza. I want to make this, but Eric says no, we can't. We, how? What do you mean we can't, Eric? What am I supposed to, you really want to make this? It all, it literally lists all the ingredients. Absolutely. Pizza sauce. Easy. We <laughs> have that from the pizza sphere. Pizza. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, really I saw jar marinara over there earlier. But, and then they put more fucking cheese and pepperoni and, and then bake it like. And then grill it. And then they dip it. They don't they, just eat that, they, they, they dip they it in the other, they dip it in the 2,000 calorie sauce that they also do Magic that like ranch. slow motion lift as if it's supposed to be enticing oh, when yeah. you're just like, my heart hurts watching it's this. It's tremendously well shot. Ugh. It I has mean, to be a taste. I think it's real. I don't think that's real. I think it's real. What would you call that? And your children would die eating lunch. it. Lunch. People. <laughs> lunch and dinner and next it's, morning. It's a fried pizza lotta. Is that what they call it? I don't, that's, why oh. I, that's why I just came that's up with it. I would call yeah. it diabetes. <laughs> I think we should make it. But I, as I said to you on Twitter, let me know when we do it because I'm going to skip breakfast and lunch. For a while. For yeah. like a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the days we're, leading up to okay, it. Okay, we're pre-taping. Monday's episode. Next Monday's a holiday. Monday's a holiday. You if want to you do can, it then? If you can wait two weeks, I can try to get everything together and we can do it. Alright, uh, it'll be over by then. Why two weeks? Do it on Thursday, Eric. I'm not gonna be here. We huh? need Eric for it. Oh, you- someone else can make it. I, I'm totally I fine think with we that. we do need Eric. Do, Eric, do we need you? No, no. No, he absolutely not. He used to be a fry cook. He's the only one who knows how to operate a deep fryer. <laughs> I used to work at a Burger King. Well, as I we know, 
Um, you assign Drew something, he takes I'll it, and it's do it. Yeah. It'll be really... four layers of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, who is this? Peter H. I overcompensated. Thing. It's by Twisted Food in the UK. Oh, okay. How what about we... Sh oh, oh, I found the name. He sent me a link. Be Deep, do you, do you Deep see it? Deep fried barbecue chicken stuffed pizza dilla. Pizza dilla. Pizza -dilla. That's too many words for one food. Is, isn't that what Millie Bobby Brown was up against in that recent Godzilla movie? <laughs> it's Godzilla, Mothra, and Pizza Dilla. Pizza Dilla. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get to destroy the city in thirty minutes or less? <laughs> destroy my rectum in Can thirty minutes or less. Can we make one of those stack and make four of them? Stack them all up. Jesus. Make a Dilla sphere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already three dimensional. I mean, they are but triangles. But it could be you could make like a. The what's the Epcot Center? It's the uh, oh, like oh, the geodesic dome, geodesic dome yeah. of pizza, Zilla. Yeah, but we gotta take we, we gotta, gotta take it to the enough. fourth dimension. How can we incorporate time into this? <laughs> by killing us all yeah. by eating it. <laughs> we <laughs> become <laughs> eternal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Your body will now be energy used by I the think Earth. We could we, we could whip that together by Thursday. Oh, I hear a lot of skepticism. <laughs> a I mean, lot of, there's, there's a lot of time to general make it. groaning. The, the biggest problem general that I, I foresee with it general is that groaning. we don't have a real oven here. And like, you got to start by like cooking the chicken. Right. That's like and step you need to one. Grill it and we don't have any stuff. ovens. I don't think no. there's any oven here. <laughs> it's a fire get, hazard. Can we just get an electric oven? Electric. Uh, a little toaster. Like a no, toaster like, board. like have Wait. Sears deliver an electric range. Wait, I guess you yeah. plug it in. And they return it. Yeah. Well, the microwaves in stage five, I think, also is an oven. It is. It only goes up to like 400. It doesn't get oh. quite hot enough. Don't, don't we need 350? Pretty hot. Well, we can try it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so reluctant to Good. realize. I'm glad you're on board and excited <laughs> for this idea. <laughs> we need soundboard Eric, <laughs> not real Eric. We, are, we got soundboard Eric just now. Yeah, I heard him. We, there's, Eric has a soundboard. In broadcast. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so you don't know what you're getting. It oh. might be Eric. It might be Soundboard. So that was like a 50 50. That was like Schrodinger's Eric right now. They're that sure. was a little too excited Got considering it. what we just heard. Yeah, he's Got miserable it. right now because yep. of Dillosphere. Yeah, <laughs> Dillosphere. <laughs> Dill Dillosphere must be like 50,000 calories. Oh. I wish we knew. Oh, wait. I wonder if it was in that link. Let me see if it was in there. If there's a caloric breakdown? Yeah. Do you think it's, do you think it's so dense that the ingredients get slowly drawn towards the middle? It takes 45 <laughs> minutes to make. What? 45. We could do two of them. <laughs> What an entertaining podcast. That would be an entertaining <laughs> podcast. That'd be brilliant. It would just be you crossing frame the whole time, yeah. with like different yeah. ingredients. Yeah. Better than us gassing for an hour and a half. As long as, as, long as you have a chef's hat, I, I think I feel like right. after yeah. making two of those, we'd all be covered in acne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has no nutritional information. I'm ashamed of your country. Yeah, I, hmm. Interesting. It's because it would kill you. It would literally bite would would be, stop your one heart. One bite would be amazing. No. It, there's no way that that many ingredients don't suck all together. Yeah. Like tortilla, wet. Chicken, wet. Breadcrumbs, wet from cheese and sauce. Like I, I think I take away the pizza aspect to it, mush. like the sauce and the cheese but and pepperoni. But that's over the top. It's like the crown on top of the but king. But I think like if you have a, a very <laughs> thick, flavorful uh, chicken quesadilla that's deep fried, that's already like one too many Pushing things. It. The fact that it's breaded is mucho. It too is mucho. So much. I, I, I still want to try it. I would love it. I'd love a cro just one bite. Uh, but I love I, I love this like this this format for videos where it's like you know Twitter video where it's like top down. Um, like, I like like stupid life hacks which are all dumb. Oh yeah. Um, like the recipes and then there's some that are just bizarre. Like a few weeks ago there was one that was kind of popular. I don't know if you if any of you ever saw it. Do you ever see bigger bigger than before? Where it's no. like someone just takes an egg and they make it bigger than it was before. And it's like. <laughs> What's the point of this? Wait, how do they make it bigger? It's... Can like, you all they... find that? Can you pull it up? Bigger? Yeah. It's, it's like a one minute long video. Uh, here, I'll, I'll send it. I'm gonna send it to the, the Slack channel. Everyone's saying it, uh, the oh. pizza dilla is 7,275 calories. Yeah, Eric just sent me that. Uh, <clears throat> seven that's, like two, some, uh, that's not bad. 7,275? Not as bad as I thought. Like, if you split that with seven people... I feel, like, I feel like there's stuff at Chili's that's more calorie dense than that. They did cut it into eighths, which is like, I, I feel like minimum amount for chicken cheese quesad pizza dilla, sixteenths. <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds, uh, yeah. maybe. So if yeah. you cut it into eighths, that's 900, about 909 calories per slot. <laughs> which honestly, for food <laughs> in America, is not that yeah, much for a meal. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Could be worse. You go to the Alamo Draft House, you look at that menu, half the things on that I, menu are I over I wish they calories. didn't print the calories on that menu. Yeah, because oh, yeah. you're in a movie and you don't Stop even want to be thinking about it. You're also in the dark, just being like, oh, fuck it. 
green chili mac and cheese, a thousand calories. Oh, fuck. Now you're thinking about that instead of the movie. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fit. And then yeah. you're like, you're, you're eating it, and you're like, maybe I'll leave some. I'll leave some. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's just dark. really good. And so it's dark. And it's like, it oh, is. I ate it all. <laughs> well, especially because in a movie, all you want to be doing is just like eating something. When did that start? Why do people want to stuff their face while they watch films? I don't know. Is that, that's not an American thing, though, right? That's a worldwide thing. I don't know. Well, definitely. You yeah. don't know. You, you you lived in another country. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, we t we do a bunch of shit that America started. Uh, apparently, pickles are only in Texas movie theaters. Really? Yep. <laughs> They're not. You? They don't don't allow pickles in any other. I don't state. know if it's not allowed. It's not a thing. Like Why if you, you go to oh, California, like and you're like one pickle, please. They'll just be like, no. Get like, out. What, are, just are you crazy? A like the big pickle. And that's the food. That's your meal. It's not a meal, it's a little it's movie snack. snack. They put the pickle, you like, whenever you get a sandwich at the Alamo, they always put a little You get a pickle. bowl of popcorn at the theater, big, it's not a meal. Big pickle. Oh, there's an egg going you into vinegar. Oh, here it is. Yeah. You can't get a big pickle outside of the Texas. The vinegar has dissolved oh. the oh. shell. Oh, no. See, it's bigger than before. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and apparently it's absorbed some of the vinegar. <laughs> okay. Oh. It, it just, it just yeah. keeps going. Jello egg. Of like, they keep making this egg, egg bigger and bigger? Listen. You think it's bigger. <laughs> it's gonna be bigger than before. Wait, Wait one day. a day. <laughs> now it's... I, <laughs> just, oh, uh, I can't. I don't know what it is about that that person's dainty hand, like, like <laughs> massaging that egg out of the jar. It, that, bo that bothers me a lot. Why die? <laughs> because they need to make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're out of a day. Color is mass, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? It looks like a bloody... Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> But uh, why? It looks like a yeah. rhino cake. Oh uh, bigger than before. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's like, why would you do this? Why would you take like two days out of your life bigger to make before. it bigger than before? Because what? it why was bigger it than before. I'm gonna take uh, a piece of gum out of my mouth one day. I'm gonna put it on the table, and then the next day I'm gonna add another piece of gum to it, and I'm gonna be like, bigger than before. Bigger than before. Content. Yeah. You can make a Twitter video. Life hack. Five minute craft. That's and what it was, right? Five minute craft. But that thing took two days to do. That's not a five minute craft. <clears throat> it's five minutes total uh, of work, I guess. But you gotta I, wait. I was surprised that deep fried pizza thing didn't become a like a how to basic. I'm surprised like someone's foot wasn't in a chicken in a toilet bowl at the end of that video. It Have you like, seen any of that? It like rided, it rode the line, rided the line, <laughs> rided. <laughs> it rided the line. <laughs> Got real close. <laughs> give me a pickle. Give me y'all. Give me a pickle. Oh, can you make a pickle bigger than before? Oh, uh, I'm sure you could. Yeah. Just show it a hotter girl. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I always notice that whenever <laughs> you that. whenever you order a sandwich and fries at the Alamo, nice. There's always a pickle there. Yeah, and it and it seeps into the bread because it's always like touching the. And I'm, that's the first thing I fling off. Oh, I love get it. that <laughs> shit. You fling it into the audience. No, fling, I just it over, fling it over. Fling it over to my plate. Oh, it's, it's gross. So good. Like wet. Bloody cucumbers it's, all over I love food. pickles. What's pickles, not cucumbers. Trevor There's... hates them, so we're the perfect couple. You don't like cucumbers, mm. but you like pickles. Yeah. What's a pickle? It's a it could be any number of things that's pickled. It's brined. Yeah, but what is a pickle? It's yeah, a brined cucumber. It's or a cucumber. vegetable. Yeah, but it could changes. Be, could be carrot. Or egg. It's yeah. bigger than before and changes the flavor. I like pickled it onions. Totally, yeah, you could not say that they're the same thing. Like, you could not be eating a pickle and say, like, I'm just eating a cucumber. I didn't understand that pickles and cucumbers were the same thing until I was far too old. Right. It was like 10 or 11. I was like, wait. I was probably, I was wait, probably around there too. What yeah. about Branston pickle? What's what a is a Branston, Branston pickle? pickle? It's like a pot of brown sludge. <laughs> that you, Selling it. You would put on cheese in like a cheese sandwich, like a plowman's. As you do. And uh, it's bloody delicious. It looks like Garbo, though. And it's Branston pickle is made from a variety of diced vegetables, including... Hey, look, there's Branston pickle! Rutabaga, oh. carrots, onions, and cauliflower pickled in a sauce made from vinegar, tomato, apple, and spices. This looks like the cranberry sauce you get for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, I would give a nut for a mouthful of that right now. Uh, in recent years, <laughs> high fructose corn syrup has replaced sugar in American oh, market. Forget it. But well, sugar is still used in the British version. Of course it is. We don't, we don't skimp. Do you think we uh, could make a, a pizza dilla with Branston pickle instead of <laughs> tomato sauce? I've never had Branston pickle, but I'd be willing to give it a try. I think. Do, you, do, think, do you think the international food section sells Branston pickle? Have you seen it in the <gasps> in the grocery? Yeah, HEB yeah. has international food sections. Hell yeah! Do they have it? Yeah. Well, Fiesta does. Did, why don't you get some? I used to when I lived near one. Branston pickle. <laughs> the office isn't far from one. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're like very close to a fiesta. Stone's throw yeah, from right, Ranch and Pickle. Well, by no. foot, it's not that close. You said you'd give a nut to have some of that in your mouth, and it's literally <laughs> down the street. You can, you can buy if it on I, Amazon. If I Look, yelled, I can, get it, I can probably get it here in a fucking hour. <laughs> if I walked outside and yelled out enough, someone now. would probably break it to me. Exactly. I can like, get it Wednesday. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see, can not I do free fine. one day pickup? Let's find out. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Oh, it's just so, it, it, it looks so gross, and it's very polarizing. A lot of people hate the stuff. It's good, though. It's like Marmite. Well, it yeah, tastes it's like Marmite. Marmite. It's just Vegemite. polarizing like Marmite. I feel like you have to have it as a child in order for it to, and for, for you to be no, like, oh, I, I like it. I acquired it. the taste. I didn't like that when mm. I was a little, when I was a youngin. A lot of acquired tastes I've gotten over the years. I used to hate tomatoes, and now I love tomatoes. I'm like that with grapefruit. I went to Jamaica, and I came back, and my girlfriend was like, you only like it because you went to Jamaica and had a grapefruit, and you liked it. I was like... Yes. Yes, you're correct. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thank you for pointing that Sucker out. Sucker for a grapefruit now. Whatever. What I used to be a really picky eater as a kid. I don't know about you guys, but like I would only eat like mac and cheese, chicken fingers, fish sticks, which as a kid I don't know why I liked because it's fish, and like uh, hot dogs. That's it. That's all I would eat. That's a very limited menu. Yeah, and then now I like everything. I think, I think what I what I what I think some people speculate is that when you're young. Your sense of taste is really sensitive, so foods easily overpower it. Oh, interesting. And then as you get older, like, <clears throat> your sense is dull, so you need, like, I would say, like, the older you get, the more fucked up stuff you need to eat to feed, to feel anything. <laughs> the bluer that's, that's your cheese. Like, yeah, that's why, like, like, old, rich people eat, like, goose liver and shit that you'd be like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, gross. It's like, uh, they, they, they just gotta feel alive. My grandfather yeah. used to have hot sauce on, like, everything, but, like, really, really hot sauce. He loved it. Can't do it. I immediately get the hiccups up. and then I'm miserable until <laughs> just do it. the I'm next gonna day. I'm going to secretly put hot sauce oh, on your food just to I, get you hiccuping. I'm just going to be upset. I, <laughs> it's, as, it's as, as obnoxious as my laugh, but painful. I love your laugh. I think you're one of the best laughs of the it's, company. It's, I was, it was my biggest concern about coming on the podcast because I feel like I have a polarizing laugh. You have a I have laugh a real, of a, real a man. jackal cackle. You have the laugh of a man three times your size. <laughs> 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 now I can't unhear that. <laughs> Just, just I take up most of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you and your laugh. You need a bigger couch. We'll Thanks. just get you some of those pizza dillos and you'll be on your way. We, yeah. A pizza dillo a day keeps the <laughs> laughter at bay. <laughs> the laughter at bay. Because you're dead. Yeah, it, it does. It sure does. Um, no more laughing for you. I, I saw a terrifying headline earlier today. I saw, uh, I saw a good headline. I'll go after you. I, I forget exactly how it was phrased, but it was along the lines of climate change may be spreading flesh-eating bacteria. Oh, Hundo P. And it's like, because the oceans are getting warmer and because they're rising, they're like coming into coastal rivers and the conditions are more appropriate for flesh-eating bacteria. So it's like, it's tons of places where it didn't used to be before. And it's like, some people will just like go swimming and if they have like a little cut or a pimple or something, it's like the flesh-eating bacteria will get in there. And uh, yeah. next thing you know, you you no more you, foot. You've got yeah. Are we talking like oceans? Yeah, it's like somebody. I heard it from like Florida. It was a Florida thing. It was a Florida. Like, yeah. Somebody's like, like, I'm gonna go swim in like a hotel pool, and then like, no more foot. Holy it's, shit! Uh, I, I guess the bacteria that is I don't know how to pronounce it. Vibrio or vibrio. It's like the the bacteria that they're most worried about. It's like some <clears throat> some woman went swimming, uh, tried to get up out of bed the next day, and uh, fell down because she couldn't feel her left foot. And uh, she had like a pimple on her foot. They gave her antibiotics and sent her home. And then they were like, "Oh no, wait! It's it's it, we, you need to come back immediately and had to have like surgery to try to oh man Did remove they remove it. She, it? She, she was able to keep her foot, Holy but it was like shit. it was close. Like she almost shit, lost her man. foot. Uh, I've heard a lot of, of horror that. stories about that of um, pedicure places. Mm. People oh, put their yeah. feet in that foot bath, and if there's like some bacteria or something like that in there, um, and if people because like especially if you're getting a really rough pedicure where they're like. Sanding down your foot and like cutting your nails and all that shit. Uh, yeah, like, there's gonna be some open wounds. I remember there was like a, a craze for a little while, a, like maybe 10 years ago or 15 years ago, where they would have like those little fish that would eat the mm -hmm. like the dead skin off yeah, your feet. Yeah. Wasn't and that it was a like, load of shit though? Like they weren't actually doing it. Who knows? But they're it was like giving little kisses. They had to stop doing it because it's like, <laughs> how do you clean the fish? Like, how do you know that they're not spreading any disease? Yeah. Or how long do fish live on a diet of old foot skin? Is they they probably get nutrients? other food as well. It's like oh, a okay. treat, right? Like you give your dog dog food, and every now and then you let him eat the dead skin from your feet. <laughs> 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 if he's been a good boy, obviously. No. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> oh, That's disgusting. Christ. No. It's natural. The headline I saw was, um, I just literally only saw the headline. There was nothing else with it. Lightning gets hole in one. What? <laughs> just assume there was a lightning bolt just... that struck a golf course on the pole. In the perfect. And someone thought that that was news. All right, lightning bolt gets hole in one in North Carolina. <laughs> photo shows. <laughs> Let's see here. In order to get a hole in one, a ball would, must be it involved. It would get a hole in two. It won't like strike the fairway and then be like, nailed it. <laughs> Got the hole eventually. Oh to drive the Where's the picture? It, it says there's a picture. I don't want to watch lightning safety tips. I do. What's the first tip? <laughs> Go, Go inside. inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Is this it? Okay. I. Oh, wow. I had never seen anything like it. Lightning makes unique hole in one on golf course. I'll send this to you guys so we can uh, we can pull it up here. Do you see it strike? You see the aftermath. Okay. So uh, I was like, that's for, a really good place, good time. For about the tenth time in recent history of the Eagle Creek Golf Club, a hole in one was scored. However, it wasn't a human with a golf ball in some luck, but rather a lightning bolt from a powerful storm that made. This Unless that lightning shot. bolt had a golf ball, it also didn't <laughs> score Doesn't a count. hole in one. Yeah, if there was a tornado that threw a golf ball into a hole, that's that's something. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool looking. It's pretty cool looking. That lightning pattern. Yeah, have you ever seen like when someone gets struck by lightning, they're left yeah. with like the, the coolest tattoo ever, kind of like, like that. Tree yeah. roots. Yeah, kind of looking. Yeah, thing. that was one of a guy's back. It was all wrecked like that. Yikes. It's pretty cool. That's really cool. But also interesting newsworthy content. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, <laughs> they, they led with it in the five o'clock news that <laughs> night. Yeah, it's like the, the lead story. Like Nothing else is going on. Don't look at the Amazon. Did the storm have to buy everyone a drink? Now that was. <laughs> Only whoever was on the course at the time, who was just hopefully nobody. That's frustrating sometimes. It's like <clears throat> whenever there's storms in the area. And if it's not raining, like let's say you're you're flying in and you have to stay on the plane because it's unsafe for anybody to go outside because of lightning. They have to wait like <clears throat> however 30 minutes before the ground crew to come out just to make sure no one gets struck by lightning. Yeah. It's like, it's inconvenient, but it's probably better that nobody gets struck <laughs> by lightning. You'd you feel bad if... <laughs> right. I assume you guys have flown while there's a lightning storm. I've had lightning strike the plane on the Whoa. row in front of me. One time I was flying from New Zealand to Australia and I was in the window seat and we were coming in to land in Brisbane. And we'd already started our descent, and the pilot had warned us, like, there's a bad storm in Brisbane, and we're going to try to land and see if we can beat it in. We're descending, and uh, I'm looking out the window. Then all of a sudden, I see a really bright flash, and lightning hit the, the seat right in front of me along the outside of the plane. <clears throat> and I felt the warmth just, like, radiate all over me. And as soon as the lightning hit the plane, the plane just went... <laughs> it just flew away. It turned and flew away from it. It just nope. Yeah, I think I took a screenshot of the flight. Like we turned and we circled for like forty-five minutes, and the pilot's like, "Yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit." You so felt you the, in the warmth. Air? I felt the warmth come off of the oh. lightning bolt. So you had like lightning radiation. I guess so. You have superpowers yeah. now. I, I can melt metal <laughs> with sweat. <laughs> but yeah, so yes, I have been in a plane struck by lightning. Have you, Drew? No. Or flown during during I've, a storm. I've flown during a storm, but it's never been. I've always been like, oh, look, there it is. No big deal. <sighs> it scares me so much. Because, like, lightning is unpredictable in that way. Right. Like, it's a shaky, shaky of the whole plane is the... Every time I'm just like, well, I might die, but whatever, it's fine. I had a good run. We're good. Totally different da, 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 da. people, you and me. Yeah. I, f I was landing in Houston. This is a couple months ago. I was landing in Houston during a really bad storm. Um, they wouldn't land us in Austin, so we had to go to Houston, even though Houston also had the storm. But that was the most scared I've ever been on a plane. And I've been on a lot of planes because this was doing the like the normal turbulence is fine because I know planes don't go down from turbulence. But this was the like, boom, oh, <sighs> like side to side. Like I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, OK, <laughs> uh, like white knuckling the armrest beside me. And I was just like. Should I try to turn on my phone and text Trevor? Like, is this? <laughs> oh, oh my god! No. <sighs> and then when we landed, I was literally like, "Oh God, Jesus, thank you." I'm not a religious person, but I think I appreciate I, I, it, like, bro. <laughs> I gave up on like being afraid during flying. I was on like a Southwest. I was on some flight, uh, and we go into land, and we land like really sideways, just oh, like god. super sideways, and like kind of puddle skip across the runway. And I just hear this like. <laughs> Old redneck mime goes, sometimes you gotta let the co-pilot land. <laughs> <laughs> and like, from then on, I was just like, oh, that's probably what it is. It's probably just the co-pilot doing co-pilot, like learning some shit. Yeah. Trying some stuff out. <laughs> Today, <laughs> you're gonna learn to land. <laughs> Good luck. You gotta do it for a first time at some point. Right. 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 You do.
This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is also brought to you by Experian. The better your credit score, the easier it is to get the stuff you want, and you may even pay less. So the question is, why is it so hard to raise your score? Thanks to Experian, it won't be. They've launched Experian Boost, which is a brand new way to instantly increase your credit scores for free. A higher credit score can help you get access to credit and preferred rates for the things you want and need in life, like a car, a house, or maybe even your first credit card. Experian is on a mission to help boost America's credit score, which will help millions of people across the country build and get better access to credit. It used to take months to see your credit score rise a point or two, but with Boost, you can increase your credit scores instantly. Boost is free to use and only available from Experian. Uh, I wish I would have had something like this when I was younger. Understanding my credit score really could have helped me make better decisions and could have helped me uh, reach some of those milestones that I was looking for uh, a lot quicker. Uh, I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to do this. What are you waiting for? Experian Boost can potentially help you establish or increase your access to credit. Boost your FICO score instantly for free. Boost is only available at Experian.com slash RT. That's E-X-P-E-R-I-A-N dot com slash R-T. Thank you, Experian, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. I think about that all the time. Like, is this someone's first flight that they're on right now? Or doing? Did you? I mean, they have simulators. Have have you seen that? They worked way up. Have you seen that thing where it's the king of the Netherlands still flies commercial flights for KLM every now and then? No. Like, as a pilot. As a pilot, yeah. Yeah, and he makes sure to, like, code... From all of us at like, yeah, instead Netherlands. of saying like on behalf of so and so and so and so, thank you for flying. Like on behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying. I guess like he used to fly um, Fokker planes, which are kind of like regional planes. F O K K E R. Got nice. it. And um, KLM phased them out. Do you think so we'll meet had, them someday? He had to qualify <laughs> for uh, meet the Fokkers for seven thirty sevens because that's what they moved to. So he qualified for a seven thirty seven. He has to fly like two flights a, a month in order to maintain the number of hours he needs. To be a could you a, imagine a just being, being too busy to do that? The, it, the king of the Netherlands, dude. What's he got going on? Smoking weed all day. <laughs> <laughs> smoking weed all. Day. My other question is like, does he? Have, what are the crown rules? What is the what is the queen of England's crown rules? Where does she have to wear that that fucker at? Where does that crown have to go? I don't think like, she wears it in bed. The physical, but like, if does she have to wear it on a plane? Does she have to wear it ever? I don't know. But what are the like? What are the crown? What is the crown etiquette for the king of the Netherlands? I don't know. Is he like he, he can he can he puts pilot the, hat. the pilot hat on? Is it on? T- is the pilot hat on top of the crown? <laughs> like, nobody will know the difference. Someone in chat just said I did the cross wrong like eight times. I'm Jewish. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Wait, how did you do it? I I think I just went like this because I'm not. I don't know how to do it. But oh, Austin Powers Spe- spectacles, testicles, Spectacles. wallet, and watch. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Probably stop now, now I know. <laughs> That's it. So, Nailed it. so Jewish people, they like Jesus and stuff, but they don't do all the. No. But he was a Jew. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's like Christianity, is what he was. So, Ju- right. so Judaism doesn't like main Jew. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you Calm call down, it? <laughs> everyone. Let's be friends here. <laughs> I found the, the picture of my flight. Oh, it struck my oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. They had it there for a second. Jordan. That's impressive. But you can see, like, we're coming in from the lower, <laughs> from the lower right up, and you can oh. see where it gets struck by lightning. <laughs> then you immediately go. takes a right. Yeah. <laughs> then you like circle, like, all right, we're gonna kill time, and then we're gonna go down and land. Oh, he ended up flying almost exactly where he got struck by lightning. <laughs> because I, I was like, because uh, this is like the in-flight flight tracking thing, and as soon as it happened, as soon as we started banking, I was like, I need to take a screenshot of this on my phone. <laughs> I still got it. Oh man, how long ago was this? Uh, five years. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Five years ago. I st- I, like, so I still remember every time I like I have to look it up. Like, okay, is it <laughs> sometime in late 2014? And, you know, you still have all the images, all the back catalog. <laughs> it's getting on Gavin for being like, <laughs> what are you on about? Uh, every time. I don't know my Judaism. Speaking of uh, the Netherlands and weed, I found a very suspect story the other day. It's like one of those. <laughs> one Jesus, of, main Jew crush. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> One of those too good to be true stories that doesn't really have any good accreditation. Sure. Mm. Uh, where was it? It was this uh, the story supposedly that this man in Sweden was going to be arrested for dealing marijuana, mm-hmm. and I guess they have very strict uh, laws about weed in Sweden. And that when he was being arrested, a seagull came and took his baggie of weed and flew off. <laughs> and it's like this story was posted on theleafdesk.com. I was like, I would like to find some corroborating evidence. I'd like to find a reputable <laughs> source for this. And the, there's no other source. That's Sigle ain't no narc. Yeah. That's, that's Sigle ain't telling nobody. But it's like, it's a funny story. I just wish someone else 
could verify it. Right. Or there was like another. Maybe. I've, yeah, that might just be police incompetence. We're like, I, I don't know. We couldn't find it. Uh, a, a seagull he took threw it. it. He threw it in the bushes. And they're like, it was a seagull. Have you ever seen that old video of like uh, the cops arresting that guy? And like, they, yeah, they're like pulling all the stuff out of his pockets and they throw it like right in front of him. And he starts like trying to inch up and eat it while they're like not looking behind him. Doesn't he eat it? He yeah, does he does eat it. it. <laughs> but he's on the hood of the car being looked at by the dash cam. <laughs> what a move. Yeah, then, it's bold. Apparently, uh, a seagull saved the entire universe once. You know about this, Go right? on. So, <laughs> back in like 2009, the Large Hadron Collider was going to fire up, and they couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And apparently, a seagull just dropped a baguette into the wiring of... And there's an entire paper about time travel and why that our universe <laughs> exists because of this seagull. <laughs> dropped probably, a baguette. Yeah, probably the same seagull. Maybe that seagull was from the future. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. If the seagull had not dropped it, the Large Hadron Collider would have fired up and blown us all to smithereens. Two thousand nine. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. What would it really have done? It probably nothing. Hmm. Do you think there's like technology toast? that people are working on in like some country far away from here, or even in the U.S.? Who knows? That like has the potential of destroying all of mankind if something goes wrong. I'm sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Like the nuclear. St- like stockpile, or, yeah. Or like there was that whole documentary about like the 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 nuclear symbol not being able to last for ten thousand years. Like in ten thousand years, no one's gonna know what that symbol is, right? And so they're just gonna be like, "Oh, what's in here?" Or like n- everything's nuclear irradiated. Fuck like, yeah. And so it's like because like you look at that symbol and it's like, oh, that could look kind of like an angel, maybe. Maybe there's good things. Like, I think they've also like, they've, they uh, at some disposal places they've also tried putting other symbols to try to indicate that it's bad, like yeah, a, a, like a like a. You like a outline of a human dead. And Can you imagine if that was the graphic designer's first day on the job? And he's like, you got to come up with something that will last beyond your language and civilization. <laughs> so that people don't dig this up. <laughs> we'll give you a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> got to land it sometime. <laughs> An extra day of paid vacation. <laughs> if you could get it right. That might be the most but important image in the world. I, I would say maybe also... The images that they decided to try to put on... Um, I've never seen that before. I think that's it. Yeah, that's that what it one? is. Okay, the death. Bad, bad angel give but you will the, will skull the future, across But what if it's not bipedal beings? Egress. Yeah, and what if yeah. the future, what if a skull doesn't represent anything? <coughs> yeah, or, just, or represents something good? What if we no longer have skulls? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Ooh, candy. Oh, the skull and crossbones candy, my favorite. <laughs> but uh, I think also the images that they put on the Voyager <clears throat> spacecraft when they send it out. You know, it's like these oh, images it's going out. It's like the so we far nudes. away. <laughs> right. We sent nudes on and a we gold sent our address. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to see more of this? <laughs> right here. The third one from the sun. We turned on some whale song. We sent them nudes. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a time in human history where it's like, man, it's been 20 years since the Voyager came back. Right. Wasn't that a Star Trek? Oh, yeah. They had the Voyager. Or, First contact. Right? Right. Or is that like some sci fi movie where it's like, Voyager gets thrown back at Earth, and they're like, oh, Voyager came back. Does, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I feel like this is the, the setup or the premise for some shitty sci-fi movie I must have seen at is one point. Is it off now? Like it ran out of power? I think they can still control it. They can still communicate with it. Something if, turned off the What if, the what if it just went by another one coming the other way? <laughs> the the big, the what was it, the Kukuloa, Mana, the big asteroid that they thought was oh, a spacecraft? I've read a lot of interesting things about that one. Dude. Are we going to get into that? Dude. I, I want to hear about it. It's nuts. So there, there's some theories that, okay, the easiest way to describe it. So there's some <laughs> ideas that it may have, it, it could be like the remnant of a long dead civilization, right? The universe is sold. That it could be, um, that it could be, they sent out inert, think of it like an inert spacecraft. It's like uh, a fishing lure bobbing on the ocean. And that any time something passes it, passes it with sufficient gravity, the gravity of the passing object picks it up and it starts carrying it along. So it could have been the stationary probe that's just out there waiting for something of mass to come by. And in our case, it was the sun, which kind of picks it up and then pulls it along and they starts just orbiting. just wait for your mom. It's <laughs> yeah, nice. My mom, Ooh. my mom is on Earth, so yes, it was. Um, so, and then but, like it activates but based it on that. Turned. That was the yeah. It did like a hard turn. Like, like that. The, the thought is turn. that it activates and it turns on uh, when it gets pulled by the gravity. Like it's this passive thing, and then once it's turned on, like now it's it's active and it could be sending data to a civil, a civilization that's as long it, dead. As it ran away. You're right. So how oh. long has Voyager been gone? Couple, at least a day. It's a plot to Star Trek. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> uh, I think they launched it in seventy six. So over 40 years for sure. So if at this point, 
at the exact same speed that Voyager was moving. 77. A, another one passed it coming back at Earth. We would have a long time to worry about. I don't what, know if it would notice if another one passed it. But what if it did? <laughs> yeah, I think it only like, looks would we, backwards. Would we try it and go out? It only looks back at it. It does look backwards, doesn't it? Yeah. Because that's I how we got the pale blue dot. I think, I, I, think they, if, I think it doesn't necessarily look backwards. Because if I remember right, <clears throat> Carl Sagan had to try to convince them to get it to turn around and take oh, that photo. And it was like on the dregs it. of its powers. Right. It? It's turning ability. Got it. I wonder if humanity would send something out to meet it. Or whether we would just let it come to Earth. Well, I guess the Earth would have to do several. Yeah. But then is it worth it? I wonder if they, they would even know if it would land on Earth. You guys have all seen The Martian, right? Or read The yeah. Martian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that just makes me think about that when they went, I don't want to spoil anything, but the movie's been out for a while. Um, went to go, like, collect him, and they had to, like, perfectly time oh, yeah. his, like, speed speed with their speed and the rotation and everything going on and, like, their velocity. Just very fascinating to me. I feel like I like everything in the movie up to that point, and then it's pretty doofy. Have you read the book? No. Just read the book. The, book, the book's better. Yeah. The so book gets into the nitty gritty, like stuff. with the science the, and the math. Yeah, the, the, like the, the movie's like, oh, this bad thing happens. Oh, don't worry, he conquered it. There's, the book's like, oh, I'm fucked. There's no way to do this. Uh, there's like just gonna die here. Two or three chapters about this like insane sandstorm that he has to deal with when he's trying to drive across Mars um, with a vehicle with like solar panels and all this stuff. And it's like the most tense. Yeah. Like and it's like the people on Earth know that this thing's coming, that he's gonna die, and he has no idea. They have no way to let him know. Yeah, it's and it's really good. Completely cut out of the movie. It's, well, like not included in the movie. It's yeah. really good, and it's not that long. I, I, listen, yeah. books yeah, I, listen, I listened to it on Audible, I think. And it, yeah, I read the book in like a week or something. Yeah, like it's, that? it's not it's not long at all. Very very well written. I have it if you want to borrow it. Oh yeah, highly highly highway. recommend it. Mm -hmm. Except I don't know if I can say that. Drew and I have opposite tastes a we lot. A hundred percent opposite tastes. When it comes to but like it's only, media, it's only in media. Yeah, we. It's only in like TV and movies. What and have stuff. you guys had opposite tastes about? Everything. Everything. Name, name anything. If I like it, he hates it. Uh, if he likes it, I hate it. Avengers Endgame. Ready? One, I loved it. two, oh. three. Haven't seen it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like uh, uh, Breaking Bad. But we talked about like True Detective. Yeah. Okay. Season, the newest season of True Detective. I was like, eh. season Which three. I loved, right. and I was like crazy. Russian about. Doll. Eh. Loved. Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad? I loved. It's incredible. Do you, okay. you seen, I feel like everyone has Have you yeah. seen the the release date trailer they uh, have for El Camino? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when is that coming out? This is the Breaking Bad movie. It's coming out on Netflix. I think it's coming out like October 19th what, or something. I thought it was like, but no, what are you gonna, no, maybe October. What it's, are you going to do with just Jesse Pinkman? I mean, like, Brian Cranston makes that show. You got Skinny Pete. Yeah, Who, what are you going to do with Skinny Pete? This is what happened after, though, right? So right. He, so seems Brian like, Cranston, he gone. He's gone. That's what I'm saying. What are you going to do, like... That the show to me was like there, but but Brian yeah. Cranston's filming, right? There've been like some some oh, production like, images that have been put out. Oh, like maybe it's like flashbacks and stuff? and stuff. But then why would you flash back? Like why not just show it in we're, the show? Yeah, we already I mean, saw like, it. The, the we, show covered the entire timeline of that story. Maybe right. it, maybe yeah. it could flash back to even more of him trying to kill the fly. Or maybe it'll flash back to when Jesse Pinkman was in uh, Walter White's classroom because wasn't he a student of his? Yeah, and then they, <laughs> yeah. they put on like young ye young age makeup on Aaron Paul. Right. God, I'm excited for it though. I'll watch it. I haven't seen any of Better Call Saul. It's real. Mm, have you seen it? I have One, not. Two, okay, yes. no. <laughs> I love it. Two, three, uh, I haven't seen it. I thought the first season was really slow. I think yeah. the first season's too slow, um, but it gets better on the back half, and then I think it gets really good in subsequent seasons. Oh, I think the first, uh, the first, the beginning part of Better Call Saul I really don't like. They have like a cameo from Tuco, and it's like, oh, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't need to They're see. They're just trying to be like, right, remember, like, oh, remember this? Yeah. yeah, it's the classic spin-off shoehorn that they right. have to get out of the way. And it's it's just like it's it's just a little much. Yeah, I'm more curious in what happens after the story than what happened before. The you, sh story. you should check it out. I think I think all the seasons are on Netflix, and I I think the next season doesn't come out till next year or have something. Both. I just want to like keep asking you guys about shows and movies now. Just the opposite. Of have you both seen Barry? Yes. Three, two, one. Mm. Love it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. We, like, and then, like, any anytime we we hear each other, we hear someone in in our office talking about media. We I'll see the other one. We're like, I'll just keep walking. Like, yeah. if somebody's like, if Gus is like, uh, you know, have you seen that? I was like, I'm gonna keep. Yeah, moving. I'm yeah. Moving along. we know, we respect it. Yeah. I'm always curious to, uh, if totally people opposite. have seen Shit's Creek and what their opinion on that is. I've never seen it. Enjoy. Like, okay, can pick up any episode and just be like, <laughs> it's a show that I have no desire to watch. Yeah, like I, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm gonna go home and watch like two more episodes of Shit's Creek. It's like. 
So how what do you, you want to watch? We could put on a Shit's Creek, I guess. It's a good like <laughs> fold and close show. Yeah. Where you're just like, mm, or like end of the night of and you have like time to kill and you're like, should we put something on? Yeah. Just to like get sleepy too. Yeah. Have you? Um... What are you okay, so we have we have someone in chat who's from Sweden. Oh. Corn World. They they said they looked up the 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 that town's news. And they verified the story about the seagulls stealing the cannabis is true because it was reported on that website. Wow. Got so it. Thank you, Cornworld, for verifying. And I know he, he is from Sweden. He told us that last week well, that he was from know. he's from Sweden. You got it. Um, th- there's another show on Netflix I started putting on just like, you know, if I want to have something on that's that's not serial that I know I can just like put on an episode. Uh, there's only I think ten episodes of it. It's a series called Diagnosis. Has anybody seen that? Mm-mm. No. Where it's it's real real life stories. I guess it's based on uh, this article for a New York Times magazine, where this doctor finds people with unusual symptoms, goes to them, interviews them, tries to figure out what's wrong with them, and then kind of publishes an article about them to like the wider world. And it's like anybody can read the article, and if they know anyone with symptoms like that, or if any doctor see a trailer for this, yeah, yeah, know anybody with symptoms like that, they can help connect them and try to Whoa. figure out what weird thing is wrong with them. Does the doctor have a lamp and is addicted to pain pills? <laughs> no. <laughs> But it's it's really interesting like to see like some of the things that these people are going through. It's like really bizarre uh, medical cases, and then like they're just trying to find out like you know what's wrong with me. Is is this going to get better? Is this going to get worse? Do I need to be worried? And, yeah, uh, it's really interesting. And it's like they go down like oh it might be this, it might it might be that. It's not lupus. It's such a scary idea that you'd have a condition or like something wrong with you that nobody could identify. Yeah. In one of the episodes, they tell someone like, yeah, your daughter's the only person in the world with this. Oh, and then what do you do? It's but, like, and then, oh. but then they yeah. put it out and they're like, no, there actually are other people with it. It's like right. whoever told you that. It's didn't. very rare. Yeah, it's, it's extremely <laughs> rare. Yeah. But yeah, there, there, it does exist. And, it, and there were actually people who were studying that exact defect and possibility. And like they're working on ways to try to um, to address it. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I, I recommend it. It's I'm, Diagnosis. Yeah, diagnosis. I'm super ready for that CRISPR to come through, like that gene yeah. therapy thing. Like I'm ready to like. That's gonna be a whole cash in on some like a few different gene therapies. We're like I'll take that one and this one. Yeah, and but one. I mean, I think we're we're a ways away from that. Like that's we're we're just gonna learn. It's just like a rabbit hole, right? Like you learn if you want to do this thing, it has all these other oh yeah like effects floppy that you're ears not aware and domestic of. dogs. Right. Yeah, gotcha. So what is this? You can modify your there, there's a there's genes. a gene. Yeah, it's called CRISPR, and they're currently doing a bunch of tests on it. I think I don't know, Gus. You probably I believe there's than a, I do. Like the first CRISPR genetically modified baby was just born in China earlier this year. Does it have to be done to babies? No, it can be no. done anytime. You can do it anytime. What what do, what can it change? All sorts of stuff. It right? can unzip your DNA, rewrite it, and rezip it. Yeah. So you could just become but, someone else. But you are already a thing made and like formed. Yeah, unzip and rezip. Real foggy on it, where it's just like we can't. <laughs> you that can, seems <clears throat> not. You can recode your DNA. Like I, mean, I understand, unzip. like changing your eye color. And hair color and stuff, because that like hair will grow back yeah, but, out, eyes. But of course, like to do something complicated like that, it doesn't really work. Like you, you can do minor things, right? How do you unzip RNA? Right? It's this. It's this little protein that just exists and just it goes along the DNA. His name is Mr. CRISPR <laughs> until it finds <laughs> a, a little section that it's programmed to remove, and it boop remove now that. I want to know raw. what it could like. What to what extent it could change you? But the problem they're finding is that. Things are interconnected. Like, yeah. therefore, exa- like, well, like I was mentioning, they did a test on butterflies. Like, they wanted to, they were like, oh, we found the specific gene sequence that determines the color of this butterfly. We're going to turn all these butterflies, and, you know, instead of orange, we're going to make them blue. And they did that, and the butterfly's wings didn't work. Like, they, they didn't Whoa. harden. They're just, like, soft, and they couldn't fly. It's like, oh, we didn't realize that gene's also connected to this other thing. I guess it's kind of like when someone's... What's the albino disease? Albinism? Yeah, where it's like, there's a, I don't know, there's a bunch of like side effects to, there's a bunch of different things for that, like pale skin and then you can't see mm-hmm. as well and like there's tons of side effects to. I'd love to get a crisper for some tan. Just <laughs> <laughs> a, a little shot so, and all of a sudden she's like, <laughs> You probably got into the sun. <laughs> so there's a, no, nah, man. The sun. Skin cancer, dangerous. Yeah, but then you can uncrisper the cancer. Yeah, surely. <laughs> it, what does cancer affect? It doesn't affect genes. Uh, I think it's just uh, like an abnormal cell growth. 
Just slack. This is the medical uh, podcast, I the heard received that. medical I podcast. Call in with your uh, symptoms call, call and, and we'll <laughs> diagnose you. And we'll just keep saying CRISPR over and over until you hang up. <laughs> yep. I don't know, CRISPR. Have you tried the CRISPR? <laughs> you know that little compartment in the bottom of your fridge? <laughs> CRISPR. CRISPR. There's, there's chips from Canada called CRISPRs that are the most amazing chips. So could you just copy and paste DNA? Like, it, could we just make it? Like, if I'm new... like, I want to be Gavin. That's just cloning, isn't it? No, but like Gavin now, cloning would be like if you if we took your DNA and like made a new Gav, but like turning Barbara into Gav. But then she would still be my clone. Could I get everything except your nose? Whoa. Mm. <laughs> but then it's like because I won't be able to be able to tell us apart. But honestly. then how do you start quantifying things? Like where is memory stored, oh. or what is memory? Memory and like, isn't genes, though, is it? Right, but is but it? Is it? But you it's know, electricity it, that my genes made. But it's where is it stored? Is it stored in the genes? <laughs> I don't know. Right, no, you don't store memory in genes. Where, where do you store memory? Brain. Right. What's the brain made of? Electricity. And genes. Yeah, but, but <laughs> a brain that's off doesn't have memories. A brain that's off doesn't have memories? When you that, sleep, like a dead person's uh, head oh, doesn't have memories. Saying. Okay. I mean, they're Even still probably in there. They're probably rattling around. But the electricity's no. off. It's like when you turn didn't your you car see, off. Didn't you see Wild Wild West where they projected the man's last memories upside down through a projector in his eyeballs? Don't you remember this? What? I kind of it was that <laughs> Kenneth Branagh doing some crazy yeah, it was. shit. <laughs> what a reference! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking deep cut. Kevin it Klein. Crisper. It was CRISPR. <laughs> Eyeballs creep me out because I found out something that I didn't know previously. Oh is boy. that apparently, and I I don't know if I'm gonna word this right. Your body doesn't know, isn't aware that your eyeballs exist. So if you get like a infection or something bad happens to one of your eyes. Your body will now be aware of it and could attack the other one and make you go blind. Whoa. How does that work? Just why, mystery. Why is, the, the this way whole time's revolution, we didn't know we had your eyes? Your body doesn't know your eyeballs <laughs> exist. Check the mystery holes. Anything to report? <laughs> Nothing. Great. Move along. <laughs> so, like, if something happens to make your body oh. detect that you have these foreign objects in it, they'll attack it. You're running double patches the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> running double patches. <laughs> So what? it's completely pointless having two of them. What's redundant? Get a stick in an eye. Yeah, but then if your other eye commits suicide because you got yeah, stick in the it's redundant. It, it, his it's redundant for external threat. I feel like a lot of stuff, you, you actually are just fine with one, but you lose so much with one eye. Yeah, your you entire don't have any peripheral depth anymore. Yeah. You lose That's a whole, so You important. lose a whole dimension. You look cool. You got a good story at parties. Do you? I mean, here's how I lost my eye. If it's a good story, what if it's lame? <laughs> Here's how I lost my my body detected it. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> my brain noticed that I had an eye and it killed it. How far is your peripheral vision? Like if you guys put your fingers out in front of you and like went all the way, like when when do you stop being able to see it? Yeah. I'm gonna hit you in the head. <laughs> nah. I guess just do it with one based off how much room you have. Like while you're still <laughs> that guy. Right I'm there. like this. Right there. So Gus is it's gonna be like one seventy. You guys are all pretty straight, like You're pretty well, close to that. Not, what do you mean? Not, not, I mean, like it's one, me uh, almost one eighty. Like it's because some people lose it like a little more here, a little more here, depending on my right. Ability. I just realized now this is gonna bother me until I go to the eye doctor again. <laughs> my right was a little farther forward than my left. Oh, but you might Christ. be also positioned weird, uh, like yeah. you're not exactly sitting straight. Yeah, which is your dominant eye? Right, uh, my left. Ooh, get you, out of here! You do the test where you. Oh, what's the test? There's some hand position you can do where you like, you bring it out and then like you just bring it closer and then it goes to one eye. I An can't. easier test is to just point at something. One of your eyes will be looking at it, one of them won't. I think I mean, my left eye is my Yeah, dominant. point at something and close your right eye and then close your left eye. Oh, yeah. Which it's is perfectly in the middle. Wow, no! That's a, yep. that's a great, that's <laughs> a much easier God. test than the hell. What are you doing? Just hit myself in the nose all day. <laughs> okay, it's, it, my left eye is my dominant one. Weird. Welcome to the left are you, eye. Are you a right eye person, Gav? Good. I like that. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. 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 It's just helpful mm. to know which eye to put in a viewfinder hole. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. If I use my if wrong eye, left, I get, everything's lefted. I do like shitty focus. Oh, interesting. I can't like I always want to re I always want to put the camera left centric and nothing's built that way. Like left eye centric where you like put all the buttons Can't and knobs on one side. Th oh, you let me like the oh, layout. Just, like if you go if you go like handheld and yeah. it's on your left shoulder with your left eye. That's fair. I'm trying to think <laughs> how I take pictures. I'm trying to think how I take pictures. I'm pretty sure I still use my right eye. Normally everyone uses phones now. Right. Yeah, but like if you're using one of those like 
ding, like one of those yeah. cameras, disposable cameras. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Um, <laughs> I, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the play by play though. The viewfinder is on the right of it when you're looking at it, yeah. right? But like, who goes like this? Le weird left eyed people. Me. You do that? I you commit, put it on your I left eye? I commit to that left eye bit. Oh, because I just put it up to my face and it's on the right already. No, everything just feels weird. Like the framing's real weird through my right eye. Like the thirds are all messy. And so are you like, a left-handed person? Yeah, super. Oh. Super left-handed. That means you're good at shit and creative, right? No, it just means my right, the right side of my body is pretty useless. <laughs> mm. Are you left footed? Yeah, everything. Just like mainly left. Do you hang I'm pretty sure left? I ate a twin in the womb. Uh, if you try hard enough, someday you could be all right. Mm, all right. I approve. I like it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's it's sinister. That's the uh, the, yeah. the origin, right? The yep. Latin for left is sinister. sinister. What would you, if you could change a gene and had any effect? What would you change about yourself? Uh, I'd make, my, I'd make my I'd make my dick smaller. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> too massive. Do Dial it. back the <laughs> trunk gene. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, soundboard Eric. Yeah. <laughs> this episode of the Risky Podcast is also brought to you by Arc. Whether it's a job interview or your dating profile, your smile can help you make the best first impression. But if your smile isn't as vibrant as you'd like it to be, Arc can help you feel more confident. Arc is a new way to achieve professional level teeth whitening at home for just 30 minutes a day. Each Arc treatment includes dentist approved enamel safe whitening strips that adhere to your upper and lower teeth, along with Arc Blue Light technology. The blue light mouthpiece arcs around your entire smile, delivering targeted blue light energy to help weaken set in stains below the enamel surface, making your treatment even more effective than strips alone. Arc can help you reveal a smile that's 50 times wider than a leading whitening toothpaste and its satisfaction guaranteed. And to help our listeners get a wider, brighter smile, Arc is offering $15 off your purchase of a blue light kit when you visit arcsmile.com and use promo code ROOSTER at checkout. Go to ARC. S-M-I-L-E dot com and use promo code Rooster for $15 off your blue light whitening kit. That's arcsmile.com promo code Rooster. Again, A-R-C-S-M-I-L-E dot com promo code Rooster. Thanks, Arc, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. What would you change, Gavin? <clears throat> oh, maybe less hairy. Okay. True. Mm. My tiny, tiny ears. I'd make them... Do you tiny ears? I have the tiniest Wait, let me see. Bit. You're blocking them. Look at them. No, you don't. Small small the, the size of the face. Look at this. Ready? Look. Ready? Boom. Done. Look how tiny they are. They're that big. How big are your ears? Show me. Scale them up. They're not good examples. That's half. <laughs> my ear is half the size of your ear. I feel like your fingers got smaller. No, they didn't. Yeah, you did this. No. You, do, you do not have small ears. So can we get a side by side? I think, view? I, think, I think now you'll never be able to unsee my tiny baby ears. You really don't. I don't think have you have the small, small ears. ears. It, I've uh, seen people with small ears. I don't know. But that's what I changed. Mm. Grow them up a little bit. Crisper. Really? That's the one thing you change. I feel like ears are like so, unless they are very, very, very big. Any, what, I, I never notice. I guess I don't ears. know. I guess I don't know what I can do with CRISPR. So my immediate thing is like, let's try ears first. Try ears. And if ears are success, then maybe something else. But, but I don't know. Then your body detects your ears are four are four right. objects and, and attacks and them. Then I'm, and then I'm blind. Yeah. What'd you do? <sighs> like. Whatever can make my metabolism like super fast, to the point where I could just oh, eat whatever I time. want. That's a good answer. That's Go to the draft that. house and eat everything on the menu. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I just love eating. Eat pizza, Della. But like, especially when you're trying to be in shape, diet is seventy percent mm -hmm. of it. Like, you could exercise all you want, but if your diet's not on point, it's hard. It's hard, man. Um, so that's really annoying. I also kind of wanted to like change my natural hair color to be darker. Mm. Because I I always think uh, dark hair is really beautiful, and I've always wanted to have I, dark I hair. Like everyone always wants the opposite of that, right? It's true. Like, it's always grass is always green. Everyone who light hair wants dark hair. Dark hair wants light hair. Straight hair wants curly. Curly Un wants straight. Yeah. Under CRISPR, could you have blue hair? I don't think so. Okay. Because I don't think it's like something that naturally occurs. Got it. You must Blueness? be natural. Blue hair. Yeah, like there it, might be no gene for that. Right. Like it's just not one of the. It's like a multiple choice test, and it's not one of the ones that's C on there. CGTA or whatever. Yeah. And then Even like, like I think. Black hair, like you could have black hair, but it's not truly black. It's like just very, 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 very dark brown. Mm. Right? I think mine's pretty black. I don't know. No, it's it? brown. It's very I might, dark I brown. might have when I was read young, that as a kid and thought. When I was young, I had really light brown, almost red hair. Really? Then it, yeah, it just darkened up. It is weird why s some colors don't occur in nature. Like there's no, no one with red eyes. Dracula. I guess 
Oh, C three PO in the new Star <laughs> Star Wars trailer. No one has purple eyes. I no purple. Uh, I know we know someone with I think yellow eyes. Jason. Stevie. Oh, and Stevie. Oh, Jason has really like bright okay? eyes too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see if I could find a picture. Actually, I think they're Stevie yellow. Stevie Nelson. Yeah, they're beautiful, but they're like yeah yellowish. Hmm. Um. So I was gonna say, did, did, did anybody else watch that? Rise of the Skywalker teaser thing. I guess they put out from D twenty three. Oh no! It's like it's like montage of old stuff, but like a couple of short clips of like new things from the new Star Wars that's coming out later this year. And of course, like all their marketing is like misdirection. So it's like what the fuck is that? But anyway, there's small spoiler. I guess for like a promotional material, there's like a shot of C three PO getting like lifted up, and he's got like <laughs> blood red eyes. It's like what the fuck is going on in this Evil. movie? Wait, did you guys see the Mandalorian there it trailer? Is. What? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like, it's like a broken Xbox. Is he like, is he, yeah, he's got the he red really ring. The, yeah. the, the evil behind everything. <laughs> yeah, he was the original Seth. Yeah, the, I, I did see the Mandalorian. The so. most bizarre Werner Herzog reveal of anything. Like, Werner, what are you doing here? The only piece of veal in the whole thing is Werner Herzog saying whatever he says. It's yeah. just like, bro, what? who let you in the Star Wars universe? How is Werner Herzog now a part of the Star Wars universe? What is that? <laughs> They're going. I mean, they're they're doing a lot. It seemed like it's. Uh, it seemed like they were going to be cutting back. You know, they kind of scrapped a bunch of their oh, standalone movie plans. That but, looks like an eight-hour movie. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they're just going to push to Disney Plus. They're just pushing to yeah. to do um, entertainment via that way because they did. They announced the Mandalorian. They're going to do the Obi Wan Kenobi thing where they had you and McGregor on. Who like blew all his memes? <laughs> yeah, he had he had one like mm -hmm. could have memed the shit out of that stage and just like. It's me. People seem to be really excited about him coming back, though. Yeah. yeah. I think he was the part of the prequels that most people were okay was, with. Was he good? I like those Metachlorians. <laughs> it's the best part of the prequels. <laughs> what are you, Andy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick burn. But they're going to be, they're being really aggressive with that Disney Plus service. I, they I, announced that they're going to allow for, with one account, you can have four different devices doing 4K streaming at like the base plan price. Oh, like, yeah. If you want to do any 4K streaming watching, on Netflix, you have I'm to pay. I'm watching Lady and the Tramp premium. on four devices. Oh yeah, the, the CGI remake. <laughs> but I say that. Are they doing that one next? That Tramp yeah. is way too old for that lady. <laughs> <laughs> I just like as a cartoon, the dogs eating spaghetti. Down as like a live action thing. I'm just like, get out of the trash. Have you not seen? Have you not <laughs> no. seen this promotional? Stuff? No, no. Oh yeah. man, it's I think it's tough. going. It's not it's going, going in theaters. Straight to it's Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Right. So I can watch it on four devices in 4K. Are they just going to um, stop doing theatrical stuff eventually? Disney. I hope not. In yeah. particular, I think maybe they'll do like you know we had, we've talked in the podcast before about how like mid range movie budgets are gone, like those don't go oh, theatrical yeah. anymore. Like this is probably going to be the new outlet for them. Where it's like they don't want to have a big blockbuster movie; they want to do more than a small indie budget. It's like you want to have like a medium budget movie. Just put it on your your SVOD. Yep. Put it on your you know thing where you just people can just stream it straight out uh, uh, four devices on four K. I'm very excited for Disney Plus. I am too. They have like yeah, I'm. I'm they pretty have excited a lot of content there. And it's all stuff that I watch the most. Yeah. Like, I've been looking for Disney movies to watch because it's it's my like go to. I'm anxious. Let me mm. put on Disney. It's hard to get a lot. Of and it's it's almost impossible now without to watch actually Aladdin. buying the movie. I, I tried oh, to watch man. Aladdin after the new movie came out. Did you see the new movie? Yeah. And Tony and I were like, "Oh, let's watch the old one." Couldn't. Yeah. Don't know how to watch that. I think you could buy it for like twenty five bucks. Yeah. Is it gonna have TV? studio? Is Disney Plus gonna have Studio Ghibli stuff? Because I, I want to stream so. Totoro, and I, I don't want to fucking buy Man. it. Is it is that a Disney product? They like, Disney, they're like partnered. Yeah, publishes it in the U.S. Why don't you want to buy it? I don't I just don't want to buy it. I just want to fucking watch it. I haven't seen any I, I feel like I, I do buy some ever, physical ever. media. Oh, they're really I don't feel like I heard. that movie would benefit from like a 4K uh, physical media versus 1080 streaming. Yeah. They probably haven't even rescanned it in 4K. Probably not. Also Sorry, like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> have to use a... Uh, New website to find out. What's your all-time favorite Disney movie? Sword and Stone. It's a good one. Didn't know how much of the, I didn't know that was my favorite until Andrew Andrew was in the office the other day uh -huh. quoting it, and I was like, "Why am I quoting? Oh my god, the Sword and the Stone! I know every single line from that movie." Yeah, there's an amazing video of uh, Pro ZD. Uh, Peter Pan. He's oh my god reciting Peter Pan. He's from, not watching it. He's like, just saying it moment for moment, line for line. Everything he's like, all right, now the kids are on this thing, and now this guy's coming out here, and he's gonna say blah 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 blah, and it's perfect. Cool, that's it's yours. Timing and everything. I don't know if I could pick one. I think Aladdin's it is is up there. <laughs> Lion King is up there. I'd pick Aladdin. Um, I really like Little Mermaid too. Not number two, 
as well. Little Mermaid 2. <laughs> Not the original one. The, <laughs> Little the Mermaid sequel. Two. More Mermaid. Um, those are definitely up there. But then I also like a lot of Pixar stuff too, which mm. is some of my new favorites. Like I think The Incredibles is Incredibles one of the good. best movie ever made. Um, and then Andrew Bird, I love Iron like Giant. Wally yeah. and Finding Nemo and all those films too. Wally's too long. That's a long movie. I love Wally. It's just the part when they go out into space and have a space dance. I was like, I'm I need a nap. But it's then an I'm hour like, and forty three minutes long. For is a that kids it? Movie. That's yeah. a kids movie though. Oh, it's not that long. <laughs> it felt um, really long. Have, have, has anybody ever seen the the Japanese movie that The Lion King ripped off, Kimba? Yeah, Kimba. Uh, have, white, have, I haven't seen it. I oh, just the, like the read, white lion. Read all the, yeah. yeah, I want to watch it. It's even sounds like Simba. Yeah, yeah. and Holy they're like, shit. no, no, no. It's it's supposedly like so. I haven't seen it. I, I really want to watch it. Supposedly, it's like almost identical. It's like Disney really? basically just lifted the entire thing. It's kind of like Avatar and Fern Gully. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, if, that's if, that movie. If Avatar was called Smurn Gully. Yeah. <laughs> Fern Gully. Or uh what's the what's the name of someone from Fern Gully? I guess oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Kimba Simba. Kimba. Damn dude. So did they pay a lot of money to the Kimba people? No, they paid so. no money. They pay, yeah. they just ripped and they off. were just like, nah, not us. Nah, you're shady shit. I don't believe you. Shady shit? Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I'm looking no here. Claim. I see some YouTube videos like, that uh <clears> that show like side by side stuff and it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty spot on. What's the, the bad guy called? Kimba. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, just call him, Sim like, what an executive note. I don't know, just call him Simba and we'll make a million dollars. Like, just, yeah, just change it. No one will know. An elephant uh, graveyard is no place for a boy. I'm just glad they brought James Earl. They didn't fuck with James Earl Jones at all. Yeah. They're just like, just come back and do the thing. Yeah. No, that was. Oh, uh, they should have kept Ron Atkinson. I don't know, but I mean, but, uh, what's Zazu? his name? Yeah, but. Well, that John Oliver's top, right? John John Oliver is our Rowan Atkinson, our generation's <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. So, real chatty Rowan Atkinson. Atkinson is still Rowan Atkinson. So, I'm reading the synopsis for Kimbo the White Lion, and it does not sound like the same movie. Oh, let's, oh. let's hear it. In Africa during the mid 20th century, as mankind encroaches, the white lion Panja <laughs> gives the jungle's wild animals a safe haven. However, he angers nearby villagers by stealing their cattle and their food to feed the jungle carnivores. A professional hunter, Hameg, is called in to stop these raids. He avoids directly attacking Panja. Instead, he records the sound of Panja and uses them to trap his pregnant mate, Eliza, who then becomes bait in a trap for Panja. Panja is killed for his hide, and Eliza is put on a ship destined for a zoo. Yeah, there's nothing so Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, so this just sounds like the internet like lit some torches and was like after like Kimba Simba. Well, apparently it was a Lions. TV series. It's 26 episodes. Wow. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I mean, like, I can see the visual similarities of that, like, one shot compared to that other shot. So maybe they took, like, references from that film in terms of their artistic direction. Is it also a musical? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really reading about it for the yeah, first time. Yeah, because there's no humans in Lion King. And then this... Not a one. No, this thing all uh, okay. revolves Alleged around. similarities in the characters, beginning with the protagonist lion, cubs, Kimba and Simba, include the evil lions, the one-eyed claw and scar, the sage mandrels, Daniel and Rafiki... Scar had two eyes. He just had a scar on one. I guess it's the one-eyed claw and scar. Got it. Uh, animated birds, Polly Cracker and Zazu, <laughs> pair of hyena sidekicks. It was although it was a trio in the Disney film. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just African animals in an animated show. Numerous track. scenes from both show films show striking similarity. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta watch it. I guess before. Yeah. I, I pick up the pitchfork. <laughs> oh, is someone sending me something? Number of meters. How long before was it filmed or or aired rather? Kimba versus uh, Lion King. 66. 1966 like long for Kimba. Time. Oh wow, okay. And Lion years. King came out in like <clears throat> 94. Yeah. yeah. Although the two works follow different screenplays, there are strong artistic similarities. The Lion King contains numerous sequences that closely match Kimba's. Other similarities are thematically deeper and more pronounced, such as both feature the theme, the circle of life. Interesting. Seems like a complicated issue. What's your favorite Disney movie, Gus? Kimba the White Lion. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Knew it. I don't know. Fell right into that one. That's a that's a good question. There's just I'm, I'm, I'm going to discount. I mean, I'm not discount. I'm going to exclude Pixar stuff because I do consider that. I different. feel like you also grew up at a different time in up, Disney's history when I, the movies were yeah. shit. You had, had like a, a bad, a, the bad. I had a lot of, of shitty ones. Yeah. Uh, that's why your whole that's why like your whole group loves Renaissance. the Black Cauldron. Right. <laughs> the Black Cauldron. Everybody Peach from, Dragon. Everybody from Gen X is like the Black Cauldron is the best Disney movie of all mm -hmm. time. Uh thank you by the way. I am Gen X. Yeah. Mulan's pretty good too. 
I always I've, forget about. I've like, never seen Mulan. <gasps> never pretty seen good. It. Watch party. <laughs> watch party. We're gonna watch Kimba. <laughs> We're gonna watch Mulan. We're gonna have pizza dillas. It, 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 it might be Dillon. one of the later ones, like Sleepover. Aladdin or Lion King, just because yeah. we had so many shitty ones when I was a kid. I like if I have to watch the Fox and the Hound or the Jungle Book Ugh. one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna the Jungle Book. I'm not right? not the Fox and the Hound. The Jungle Book or um. The uh, the other one, Robin Hood with the stupid fox. Oh yeah, yeah. All the same, they uh, ripped off the animation. They uh, you've seen that? Oh, video, they wrote side by side. It. They yeah. wrote it over each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's so just not wanting to do more work. Yeah. Like, so we already Lion have King, the animation. Man, I feel about that. Robin Lion Hood King one. is just Hamlet. Yeah. And then, which is weird, because the Lion King one and a half is just Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, because it's from Timon and Pumbaa's perspective. Oh really? I never saw that one. I don't see sequels to Disney movies. Ever. Except for L- Little Mermaid 2. Except for Little Mermaid 2. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I haven't seen what that is, one. I, I want to know what the tagline for the Little Mermaid 2 is. The squeakquel? Over the sea. Over the sea. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Little Mermaid 2. The Lost World. Do you want to know Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> is it just called Little Mermaid 2? <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. It's, it's only an hour and 17 minutes long. The Little Mermaid 2. Return to the sea. Oh, you were really oh, close. Oh. Yeah, because she's all like a uh, human now. The only way yeah, that works maybe. is if like Eric turns into a mermaid merman and then just like rolls around in the ocean <laughs> rolls around. Hell yeah. Whatever he does has to do the opposite of what she did in the first movie. Hell yeah. He's got to learn to control his swim bladder. He's all <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a swim boner and doesn't know how to handle it. Wasn't there a boner in Little Mermaid? Yep. Yeah, 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 the priest knee. Priest. During the uh, wedding scene. It's still in there. And there was like a sex puff in Lion King? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's like... But they said it was SFX. Not yeah, so. I've, I that's like, I mean, it clearly spells out S E X, but that's if your brain kind of operates that way. <laughs> like operates, it's, it, it, it's just a sex. puff of dust, and like you happen to be able to spell out something in it. I don't know how people found that. Like back then, it was like you were watching some shitty VHS copy. Like I'll tell you, it's like the it's the horny kids who are just like constantly thinking about. Like I want to go through the Lion King frame by frame to find something to jack off to. Oh, it says sex. So good. So yeah, we had that and Sears catalogs. Oh god. Yeah, you did. What right. was the first thing you jerked it to? It was it was probably like a Sears catalog or something. I need Bernie here for this to fucking commiserate with me, the old man <laughs> section of the podcast. How old are you? I'm I'm the same age as you are. You don't know how old I am. I do. Well, all right then. Thirty one it is. Yep. All right. Every time I ever see someone on TV or in like a reality show who's 31, 32, 33 ish. And I see like where they are in life and what they're doing. I always think this person's the same age as Chris Tamaris. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Why? Why Chris? Just, oh. just because like Chris is so not a 32 year old. I gotta, I gotta have him way. on a podcast here soon. I heard some stories that I need to accost him about. Yeah. He's just, he's very young at heart and like boyish. Boyish and the oldest boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's just even like the way he. He looks very young still, too. Coming to Disney Plus in 2021, The Oldest Boy. <laughs> Starring Chris Damaris. Chris Damaris. <gasps> yeah. I would watch the shit out of it. <laughs> the Oldest Boy 2. Return yeah, like to I, the hood. I start thinking about how Michael Jones, Chris Damaris, and Adam Baird are all the same age. No. Yeah. Adam Baird? Yeah, who's like... Adam Baird's a thousand. No. Super smart He's and, like, 32. accomplished. Adam Baird has the wisdom Adam of Baird's a 50-year-old. A, a year older than us? Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. When you think about it that way, you're just like, how are you, do you so ever see, together? Do you ever see people on TV and you're like, man, they're so old. You look them up and they're like 29. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah. It's started but happening I, to me because I watched those like The Bachelor. Or, I talked about some podcasts last time, but those people are all like 24, 25. Some are even younger than that. And I'm like, I'm 30. Oh, no. oh God. Yeah. Those I mean, it, it, get, it gets worse. Just, just yeah. so you know. In eat, Friends, they're worse. all like 24 at the beginning, aren't they? Yeah. With that, yeah. With that massive New York apartment. Yeah. Right. How? I mean, impossible. The way we, they explain it, it's like Monica's aunt or something, or grandmother left her that apartment. We, we got to meet the couch from Friends. I sat on the couch from Friends. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually took a nap on the couch <laughs> from Friends. Yeah, because we were waiting for the boat to leave. And I was like, I'm just going <laughs> to lay here for a minute. Oh, oh then, on the boat. Yeah, on yeah. On the boat, when we were at San Diego Comic Con, and like somebody came over and was like, that's the couch from Friends. And I was like, yeah, right now it's where I'm napping. So deal. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Right now, <laughs> that couch had a Bruce. huge section. Like, it was intimidating. Like, we had that tiny little space to, to film our stuff in. It's like, and over there is the couch from Friends. It had this huge open area. It's like, well, that's kind of fucked we, up. Uh, after we broke down, a couple of us took pictures on that couch. Um, like with the photographer they had there. I don't think I'm ever gonna see those. Where are they? 
They, I don't know. They just exist somewhere on this guy's hard drive. But I don't know like who he is or what company it was or how to possibly get <laughs> the, those. The couch from Friends runs its own space and hard drive. How does it feel like being less famous stuff? than a couch? <laughs> I mean, not, not like great. there are probably most of the world is less would famous. Would want to sit on the couch from Friends over meeting you. Oh, absolutely. That's oh, interesting. Man. Yeah. Same for all of us. I think that's I think that's true for almost anybody in I the world. I think more people would yeah. want to see that couch in person than want to sit on me. <laughs> <laughs> a good amount of people that want to sit on me. When they want okay, you to then. sit on them more. I mean, it's all the same. <laughs> is it It could be <laughs> depending on how I'm angled. Uh <laughs> Okay. I don't know how to transition off of that. Really, I'm mom and dad. Really wish I had an ad read. Uh <laughs> <laughs> This is the time when you wish that you did. <laughs> you know what no ad reads is done to this? What's that? I don't have time to look at my phone to, to check, look up something to check the things I wrote down during yeah. the week to talk about. That's what hey. I that's what I have in front of me. If anybody ever wonders, like why on my laptop, I've got chat for the live stream, and I've also got like all the topics that I like. Have, I don't I think talk about. in all these years, I don't think I've ever listened to one of your ad reads. No, yeah, because you I'm just like, you what, look do like I, what, what do you do want to talk week? about? Yeah, we I should make a, Gavin do them one week. <laughs> do the ad read. Just get here in time. I do them before we we go now. Yeah. Um, I had a, a weirdly aggressive run-in with someone this morning. Someone from oh? work? No, 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 like a random stranger. Mm -hmm. I, um, I left my house and there was a, a, like a new coffee shop that had opened up and I was like, oh, you know, I want to swing by there. I want to see if the coffee's any good. So it's, it's out of the way. So like I, I instead of coming <clears> to the office, I drive like away from the office. I go down, pull into the parking lot and I see there's a space right in front of the coffee shop. It's got like a sign like the blah, blah coffee shop, 20 minute parking. Like, oh, there's a space right here. But there's a guy in a truck in the next space over and he's got like the doors open on his truck and he's got, like got a cup of water that he's oh, drinking God. and he's kind of like partially in the in the parking spot and I'm like I'm not in a hurry like I'll wait a little bit you know he's probably gonna finish up he's probably just about to step in the truck and then I'll pull in and uh, so I'm not like close I'm not flashing my lights I'm not honking at him I'm just like sitting there waiting and uh, then he like turns around and looks at me and does the like arms up like what are you doing I'm like Matt Ardver. oh uh, okay so I was like so like, I guess I'll park. Like, I'm not, Yeah. You know, I was uh, trying to be a dick about it. I was like, okay, so like, I pull in and like the whole time I'm pulling in, he's got his arms up. He's like, just mad dogging me, staring at me. And I'm like, okay, well, this is going to be weird when I get out of my car. So like, I put the car in park, I open my door to get out and he's already like in his truck. Like he's closed all the doors and gotten all this stuff in. And I'm like, so I look over at him and he's just like staring at me real mean. I'm like, you should have gone. <laughs> well, no, I was like, well, he's a real tough guy, but like, he has to make sure there's a car between us at all times, apparently. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, <laughs> all right, whatever. Like, I just. Continue. I walk into the the coffee shop. Like, like at first I was kind of upset. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this guy start me off on a bad foot. It's like he's obviously like he thought he in that situation. If he was in my shoes, he probably would have been mad at the person. Oh yeah, just so, impatient. Like, so he thought I was mad. Like he was projecting his own anger onto me. So I was like, I was like, and I'm just, I'm just not gonna let it happen. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna get my coffee. Good and I'm work. Gonna, I'm gonna have a good Way day. To go. And I was like, it was like, and I was, then I was like, that is the most ungust thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. yeah. Well done. You're growing. Yeah, I, I guess so. But I was like, it was, it was just so weird how instantly aggressive he was. I was like, I was just trying to give you your time to finish up whatever you're doing, dude. Like, yeah. I'm not. So you did also, what like, I do with colds to your anger. You're just like, you're just like, just say no. No. Just, just no. stop. Yeah, I took. <laughs> I don't have a cold. The Gavin Free MD advice. If you, if you don't admit you're sick, you're not sick. Right, until you I, give, if you don't give in. Right. Yeah. CRISPR. As soon, as soon as, <laughs> that's the one you if you change. ever hear me say I'm sick, I'm really close to death. Like, that's, it's the last days for me. Really? Do you just it's rarely over. get sick? No, I get sick all the time, I just refuse to admit it, because I don't believe so you. you come to work and spread your filth? Probably. Oh. Good, Probably. I'm glad oh, we you don't, don't sit close together. You yeah. don't even admit it's yourself. Yeah, no, I just refuse to believe. Oh. It's like it's probably I'm fine. It's probably just allergies. Chat is screwed. Though. Adam Baird's in chat. He said, "I'm pretty sure you're all saying that I'm old." No, <laughs> not old. You're <laughs> saying that you are you're way he's smarter and wizened. mature and he's capable than all of us. Yeah, you're a you're a grown ass man. Yeah, like you are what I think we should be like at 32. Right, but we're I'm, not. I'm a child. Yeah, you yeah. know your shit. You have your life together. We do not. I think that's the difference. Also, hey. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Adam. I, so <laughs> I wonder how. I wonder if he was there waiting the whole time. Yeah, I just noticed. Got him. Do you feel old? No. no. Do you feel young compared to other people your age? Yes. Okay. And I think that's because I don't have children. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. I think like once you have a child, I think uh, you enter a different phase of your life. And I think well, I can't just get hammered every day. I've delayed like that aging process by uh, deciding not to not have a kid. It's still going to happen. And I'm still definitely getting older. But uh, it's it's not the same thing. Like I don't. There's not a life dependent on me being responsible. Other than my, myself and my wife. You're gonna get mad Come at on, me for saying don't. this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But like I've always thought of you as old. I'm yeah, I'm way because, older than you. Because well, you're older than me, but also like I think it's your like the persona mm. you've had for so many years of just like grumpy Gus yeah. and stuff like that. And just like how you don't put up with anyone's bullshit and all <laughs> well, that stuff. We did that in that short. I made you older. Bernie's older than you are. Yes. But in the short, <laughs> I was like, Gus is clearly older than Bernie. <laughs> duh. And like, that's not true at all. <laughs> and like, that like was the, the whole point. Of the originals. Yes. And Mind now look blown. at me. So old. Although, to be fair, like, I feel like you haven't to changed. Thank you. Since I've it's known you. Consistent. I mean, I. I, I, I I definitely have changed a little bit, but I think maybe I've changed the least out of everyone. But like I, I feel physically, like mm. you're especially. less angry in general. You still get angry at certain things, but you're not angry about most things yeah. anymore. I think I've learned to let it go. <laughs> well, he's also not around Bernie, Jeff, Joel, Matt every day. Man, there was some <laughs> stressful times, stressful days back in the early days, man. <laughs> so that stressful means you've times. never paid for first membership. No, I never have. I thought about that the other day. Like I went to to log in, I was like, I've never had to pay for that. Like I, I just <laughs> I just have it. Why would you have to? Wait, what? Well, I mean, because you know, I I paid. I was a sponsor. Oh yeah, you oh were, yeah, like, I did too. Yeah, I'm sure From you were. Two thousand three to two thousand five, Spe probably. Speaking of that's two thousand well, two thousand five. All right. Wow, World of Warcraft Classic is going live. Are you gonna play tonight? <sighs> I'm so fucking ready. I'm so excited to play. Is you know, gonna play? Chad took a week no. off. Chad left. He today work. he he left work early today and he's going to be back on Tuesday because of World of Warcraft. <laughs> he's I, taking I, a World of Warcraft break, I, which I hey, we work in that yeah, place I where was, that stuff I was, happens. I was going to invite him to the uh, the podcast pre-tape that we're doing on Thursday. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, wait, he's not going to be here." Nope. He's going to be playing WoW. <laughs> <laughs> His one shot at the podcast. He's he been on before, oh, but, okay. but still I was like, we're "Oh, right." Do we go stream tomorrow for it, right? Yeah. Well, I think John and I are streaming from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're gonna be, st we're gonna be streaming World of Warcraft. Is that fun to watch? Is that a good? I don't care if it's fun game? to watch. It's fun to play. I'm gonna be playing it. <laughs> All right. I don't even. I have no concept of what World of Warcraft is. It's, I've never played it. I don't understand it. I don't know. A, and I'm grind. sorry. It's just a grind. You grind. You just, it. It's an RP. No, it's an What? MMORG. Yes. Um. It's, yeah, it's just like a a, fan, a fantasy game set in the Warcraft universe. It's just like there's trolls and magic and... And what do you do? You, I've never played it either. Uh, there's quests. So it's like you do quests. There's, there's different kinds of quests, right? Like there's everyday quests where you can do go farm boar hides or something. And then you, you build up and then there's like dungeons where you like find your friends and five of you go and you do these objectives together. And then... Every time someone explains Warcraft to me, it just sounds like real life with more steps. <laughs> or it's just like, what do you do? It's like, oh, we farm. It's like, oh, like a farmer? And then it's like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, we get our f friends together and we go hang out. It's like, oh, we could do that. I could do that. But I, like, but, but you could get don't have imaginary loot. Is right. it in any way different from how it used to be? Is there any modern? Yes. Oh, God. Is, World, is, of, so very different. World like, of Warcraft as it exists today is radically different than yeah, WoW Classic like, that launches tonight. But the reboot, is the reboot like it, better graphics or is it still okay. like garbage graphics? The, and... the WoW Classic that is launching is a snapshot. I believe it's from patch 1.12, which would have been World of Warcraft as it existed, I want to say in late 2005. So I'm asking, is how different is it from that? It's identical. In every way? There's no, nothing modern on top of it? No, they, I mean, there, there's, some things did change, but very minor. Like, you, they tried to keep it as authentic as possible. You have to put on the Blink-182 yourself in the next room over. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's unbelievable. I think a lot of people think that they want it and they forget how much better the game is now and how much it has evolved over time the game was very unforgiving back then and uh in what way like if you died you lost well no like let's say the example i gave like you get a quest it's like go out and collect 10 boar tusks and you're like okay all boars have tusks i should just have to kill 10 boars but the drop rate on the tusks is 10 percent oh. so you're like i gotta kill 100 boars that's some wither skeleton shit right there <laughs> so it's like wither skulls but then as the game went on, they, they were like, let's not do that. Let's just let every board drop it. 
you know, stuff like that. Got it. Where it's like you go out and you're like killing boars. You're like, this boar better fucking have it. And no, no, <laughs> no. And then you're like, I killed all the boars in this continent. I have to wait for them to all to respawn. You know, stuff like that. Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. It sucks. Is that what you're gonna be doing tomorrow? You're gonna That's be looking for That's absolutely what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be, you're gonna see me on stream tomorrow. I'll be like, these fucking boar better spawn. Can you just go out the and start no slitting one... boar up front just so you have enough tusks by the time you need them? Or is it you need them slitting? Oh, like, no, because they, they only murder. drop once you have the quest. The fact oh, that okay. no one is calling this boring is insane. To me. <laughs> it's just, it's just I was just really like, like, I'm please, like, I can't. It's please, too oh easy. God, someone so else has stupid. to say it. Someone oh. else has to say it. Oh, I'm thick as shit. Because every time I don't, there's so, always a comment. Thick as picture. That's just like I can't believe Barbara missed that one. Whipped it. I don't miss them. I <laughs> know did. about them. Sometimes I just choose not to. There should have been a Barbara Kang of, of you just tearing your hair out for like two minutes there. <laughs> well, you got it. Thank you. So um, does this podcast are longer now? Oh, because the you put the ad reads in after. Oh, I guess yeah. Because they were ninety with ad reads. Yeah, mm. a little, a little longer. A little bump. A couple minutes. Now they'll be ninety-three. Yeah, about ninety-two. Well, 93. We were never like ninety I'm minutes turn, exactly. I got a new phone. I don't know how to turn um, it on silent. <laughs> there was. A, there's. I, I, I know such we're. A you're old. You're old as yeah. <laughs> Such a luddite. We're getting close to wrapping up, but there is one more. Th one more. One other story I'd read uh, this past week that I wanted to bring up. Uh, the headline is NASA said to be investigating first allegation of a crime in space. Someone get groped? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Someone no, like no, tried to no grope. Uh, like access someone's bank account. Right. A hundred percent of space criminals are women. It's true. <laughs> That's the title. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> so what happened? She accessed. So she was getting a divorce. Yeah, she was a, an astronaut in space. Obviously. And she, from the space station, she accessed her ex-wife's bank account. And, and uh, like tried to steal money or like... Get, she claims that she was just checking to make sure there was enough money in the account to pay for some bills and some child care that she knew was coming up. <laughs> but still, it's like, you accessed your ex's bank account. So when, when the bank <laughs> searched the IP, and it, did it just come back as space? space right. Like, were they like, like oh, it's, it's got to be one of... Three people. If I try to log ISS. in from a weird location, my bank's like, whoa, <laughs> where are you? This person was in space. <laughs> what is the IP address of the ISS? 0001. Uh, also, like, <laughs> what is what is the solidarity of the rest of the crew? When they were like, hey, which one of you did space crime? Or were they just like, not nah, nobody. <laughs> we're, not we're, talking. Not, we're not space narcs. Get out of here. But, but wow. I guess apparently there's it the law in space is is weird. And the article mentions it. Is, is it. Does it fall under maritime law? <laughs> no, but it should. Yeah, also, right. like, can you like smoke weed in space? Like, how does that work? Well, probably. Well, I think that's that counts as just like doing drugs at work, right? But if you're not in a like, cause, because like weed's legal in California and in Colorado, and, and like also so in other it's, countries, it's, it's in Canada, your launch site, you're, you're you're governed. So that's the deal. You're governed by international law. So there are five national or, inter or international space agencies involved in the ISS, US, Canada, Japan, Russia, and several European countries. And a legal framework sets out that national law applies to any people and possessions in space. So if a Canadian national were, were to commit a crime in space, they would be subject to Canadian law, mm. Russian citizen, Russian law. So it's whatever your nationality is, those are the laws applicable to you in space. I wonder you have if you dual citizenship. Ooh. I wonder if Antarctica's laws are the same. Because everybody shares. I think so. Well, yeah. there's no citizenship from Antarctica. It's just the. But no, but a bunch of countries share Antarctica as a spot until it melts enough that we can claim some land. Huh. You can't just dig down and claim what you find. No, they all have like a like a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, yeah it's like an understanding that it's not going to be claimed. Don't worry, it'll be gone in 50 years yeah. anyway. <laughs> not that much land and all that ice. Yeah, is it like? I don't think so. It's like I don't know. Two just... penguins holding a flag. <laughs> <laughs> they're claiming it. I just want someone to smoke weed in space so they could talk about how high they are. Just, I just, I just, I just, just somebody's want playing that David happen. Bowie. You know about the uh, the time the turd got out, right? In space. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> such a great. The transcript of that is impossible to read without laughing. Okay. It's from the Should Apollo the Eleven. Push? It's the Apollo Eleven, like. Spacecraft crew, and they're like, "Oh, turd got out." And then, <laughs> and Houston's like, "What?" It's like, "Turd got out." It's definitely not one of mine. And like, they're just arguing oh. about whose turd it is. Apollo ten. Just yeah. so if you want to look, it just yeah. like floating around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who did it? Commander Tom Stafford suddenly asked, "Who did what?" Inquired Command Module Pilot John Young. 
Where did that come from? Interjected lunar module pilot Eugene Cernan. Get a napkin. <laughs> Get me a napkin quick. There's a turd floating through the air. Like in... <laughs> I didn't do it. It ain't one of mine. Was I don't think it's one of mine. Was mine was a little more sticky than that. Throw that away. <laughs> I knew that was gonna get you. I knew that was gonna get you. <laughs> was it still oh. like wet? I don't know what owned it. <laughs> I don't know. It's alien alien turds. It's in never space. been solved. That was the first space cry. Jesus. <laughs> All right, that's a good one to end on. Let's, uh, uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And good job, Drew. Yay. Hey, Drew. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Small ears. Hey, everyone. If you like watching this podcast and you want to see more of Drew or more of Drew's work, you can click on the videos below to see some more stuff that Rusty's made. You should also like this video and subscribe to the channel to find uh, stuff that we all make and that we're all in. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Do and it. 100% and 0% Bernie. Thank God. <laughs>